Hey everybody, I'm Josh Friedman with One Zero Digital Media, and I have been wanting to make this video for the longest time to share with everybody how I use my Paul Reed Smith Hollow Body 2 with Paizo with a two amp setup. This guitar, it really is my dream guitar. Um, I've got a few different Paul Reed Smiths. I have a Custom 24, I have a seven string, I have a Paul Allender, and then a Hollow Body. And this Hollow Body, although it doesn't give me as many varieties of sound as my Custom 24 would, the variety that I can get by combining the piezo acoustic along with the electric makes it my go-to guitar for a lot of different jobs where I simply either don't want to bring with an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar, or I have the ability to be a little bit creative and get a really nice big full sound of an acoustic combined with an electric. One of the complaints that I hear sometimes about the piezo system in a Paul Reed Smith is that when people use it, it doesn't sound enough like an acoustic guitar. And I think in a lot of cases, people are trying to use the function where you have one electric guitar amp and you switch between the acoustic sound with the piezo pickup and the electric sound with the humbuckers. Um, it's really designed, in my opinion, to be used with the piezo pickup through an acoustic guitar amp. So today I am playing through a Roland AC90 through the piezo line out and then through the electric humbucking line out, I am playing through an Archon 50 made by Paul Reed Smith. The first thing I wanna cover is the tones that I get without using any effects whatsoever. So I'm looking at a clean sound, clean directly from the guitar, straight through to the Archon 50, and clean through the piezo directly to the AC90. I have a switch here that enables me to switch between the two amps. I can have one amp, both amps, or the other amp. And it's always wonderfully shocking to first hear, the electric guitar by itself. And then you switch to the acoustic. And you can hear instantly, it's as if a completely different guitar just got played. back to the electric. So simply having the ability to do that is enough for me to want to bring this rig to almost any job that I have. I can play the acoustic guitar sound or the electric sound. But where I like to get creative and fun with this is to blend the two together. When they're blended together, I like to push a full volume out of the guitar itself so that I actually get the tone of the guitar and use the volume on the amp to manipulate the blend of the two. That said, you can manipulate it from here going back and forth. Um, when I'm using the acoustic and electric amp together, I tend to do about a 70-30, more acoustic, less electric. And what you're gonna find is it gives you a much more powerful attack and string tone of an acoustic with still some tone of the electric guitar. <laughs> a big full sound. Again, here's the electric, acoustic, a little more volume on that, and then together. Now I'm going to start adding some effects. With the clean sounds, my favorite thing to do is to simply add some delay into the acoustic channel. Frankly, I wish I had two Eventide time factors, one for the acoustic, one for the electric, but I don't. That said, there is a delay built into the AC90 that you can hear there. And what I like about this is that only the clean acoustic sound is getting a delay. And you can hear it's almost, I use it more like a, almost like a reverb, but with a little bit of a delay on it. Again, just the acoustic sound. So that's a good example of how I will use all clean tones through both amps. Um, my next favorite sound is to add some distortion in the electric amp while maintaining clean in the acoustic amp. And I have with me right now the Disnortion by Pigtronics. I'm just gonna kick on the overdrive and you can hear just the electric. <laughs> 
And I really, really love this pedal. I like the overdrive sound and the fuzz, frankly. But you do definitely lose with the hollow body guitar, I think, a lot of the attack. So when I, as soon as I bring in that acoustic sound and blend, it's a much bigger, fuller sound. Again, here's electric. Here's the acoustic. together. Awesome blended tone using the distortion through electric and clean through the acoustic without any effects on it. Next I'm going to add to that a little bit of a delay or a lot of a delay through the electric as well. I use this both with distortion and clean. So I have the Eventide time factor. Again, here's overdrive with delay. It's a bit of a ping pong delay. Big fat tone, not so much of a tack, right? Here's the acoustic. Again, just electric, acoustic. Unforgiving, obviously, as well. So now I'll just demonstrate a few other pedals that I like to add to the tones. Um, I've got on here the Electric Mistress by Electro Harmonics my ominous modulation. It does a chorus and a flange at the same time. Here's how this pedal sounds. It's a chorus and a flange. It's basically the easiest way to describe it. And here's my acoustic. Here's my mix. So you still get the modulation. Again, there's a little more attack and a much richer tone, a lot more full. Electric, acoustic, blend. And I'll often do the same thing with the distortion, a little overdrive added to the electric guitar channel only. Kind of a cool space ethereal sound. Use that. Use the electric by itself. Long flange is the acoustic. Sounds like an acoustic guitar. And the blend. And then you can get as crazy as you want. You know, I can add some delay to that. And 
if I just had the electric on that, you lose a lot of the attack. It sounds a little bit jumbled. As soon as I add the acoustic... You get a lot of that attack back that you're going to lose otherwise. So once again, I'm Josh Friedman with 10 Digital Media, and I am just obsessed with Paul Reesmith guitars and uh, happy to share some of the tones of my Hollow Body 2 with Paizo. And please share this video and follow me on social media.